targeting the South Asian community, but we, what we've seen is there's, there's specific targeting of uh, pro Khalistan um, uh, elements in Canada. The use of uh, organized crime uh, elements, and I will say, uh, what we've, and it's been publicly uh, attributed and claimed by uh, one uh, organized crime group in particular, which is the Vishnu group. That's what we're seeing uh, here in Canada. And we believe that that group is uh, connected to uh, agents of the government of India. We just heard today that India is targeting, uh, using, using the terminology I'll share, the South Asian diaspora. Uh, to be more specific, is the main target of transnational repression or foreign interference and organized crime, including what we just heard, extortions, uh, actually the Sikh Canadian community? So, so yes, I mean, it, it is targeting the South Asian community, but we, what we've seen is there's, there's specific targeting of uh, pro Khalistan um, uh, elements in Canada or members of the pro Khalistan movement. And just for the follow-up, when we're talking about um, extortions, uh, organized crime being used, um, you know, we within the community have seen that folks have been targeting, uh, targeted in these uh, incidents are not just people that have been are linked to uh, the Khalsa movement or the Sikh self-determination movement. Uh, are you able to share that the uh, transnational repression occurring right now is is going beyond just Sikhs connected to the Khalsa movement in some shape or form? In order to, to preserve the integrity of the investigations that are being conducted by our uh, police and jurisdiction partners, I won't be providing any further details in regards to the specificity of, of those investigations. Uh, but what we've seen is, is, from an RCMP perspective, is the use of uh, organized crime uh, elements, and I will say, uh, what we've, and it's been publicly uh, attributed and, uh, and claimed by um, one uh, organized crime group in particular, which is the Vishnu group. Um, so that's what we're seeing uh, here in Canada. And we believe that that group is uh, connected to uh, agents of the government of India.